pleasant greetings to you. Today, let us try to understand the parable of Jesus in today's gospel, because it talks about the drama of salvation history, God's love story. The landowner stands for God, the vineyard, his kingdom, the tenants, specifically Israel's religious leaders and all who reject him. The servants represent the prophets and faithful believers, and the beloved son is Jesus Christ. And then the gospel continues, but when the tenants saw the son, they said to one another, this is the heir, come let us kill him and acquire his inheritance. They seized him, threw him out of the vineyard, and killed him. Christ's departure leaves each of us a great responsibility and privilege, namely to produce fruit for the kingdom of God. And thus, He leaves us with a mission. And He leaves us with this freedom to shine through despite our adversities. Question. God's first choice was Israel, right? Well, did he make a mistake in choosing Israel? The answer, no. In the same way that Jesus did not err in choosing Judas. We are free to choose to be responsible or irresponsible. With our freedom, we rewrite our own story of love. Hindi kailangang maging madrama sa buhay. Just put joy in the exercise of your freedom. St. Paul tells us in his letter to the Philippians, Rejoice in the Lord always. I say it again, rejoice. Your kindness should be known to all. The Lord is near. So, the question is, how do we write our own personal love story. Let me give you this example. Again, in the letter of Paul to the Philippians, he says, Whatever is true, whatever is honorable, Whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is gracious, if there is any excellence, and if there is anything worthy of praise, think about these things. Keep on doing what you have learned and received and heard and seen in me. When we are able to keep on doing what we have learned, received, heard, and seen in our Lord, and we are able to shine through our adversities? The question is, how should your story and mine be like? I suggest 
that as long as we are alive, please let us empower others to shine through their adversities. Let me end with the story of Yukio Shige. He is known as the Chotomate, the wait a moment man for the words that he says to people who are considering ending their lives. I'm here in Japan with a very special guy. He comes to walk around these cliffs every single day and you'll cry when you find out why. Yukio-san is 79 years old and he doesn't go to this cliff for the view or for the tourists. He goes to find people who might commit suicide. About 25 people died every year at these cliffs. So when Yukio-san finds someone who might jump, he talks to them, he gives them a cup of tea, he gives them a place to stay, and he stops the suicide. Over 19 years, he saved nearly 800 people. This guy is saving lives by being kind. May God bless our freedom to shine through despite our adversities. Amen.